Hello everyone. Today in series of Doplex scale interviews, we have with us Dr. G N Mahapatra. He is the HOD of non-invasive cardiology at Seven Hills Hospital in Mumbai. He is also the executive president of the Second World Congress on Clinical Cardiology and Cardiac Imaging. Thank you so much, Doctor, for this interview. So let's begin with the first question. What are these emerging nuclear medicine technologies which you can detect from early small myocardial ischemia from diabetes patients? Hi. Uh, the various nuclear medicine technologies which are in common use, first I will de uh, describe that. The nuclear medicine technologies are uh, stress myocardial perfusion scan, stress and rest. Then we have got stress pet myocardial perfusion scan, that is called positron emission tomography. Then we have got the estimation of coronary flow reserve by doing this pet myocardial perfusion scan we can detect the myocardial flow reserve and by that we can detect endothelial dysfunction because of the diabetes or there is a small basal artery disease or there is a less than 50 percent occlusion in the coronary artery on angiogram so that we can detect and we can tell that you look this patient has got uh, myocardial ischemia even if coronary angiography or even if other technology like FFR, fractional flow reserve, uh, we, we have detected the, this amount of myocardial flow reserve uh, reduction. So that sooner is the better. If we detect the myocardial flow reserve very early, even if there is no production or there is no uh, showing of any ischemia in our stress myocardial perfusion scan, we can detect mm. silent ischemia very early. So that if you detect a silent ischemia very early, the treatment will be very efficient because the disease is just setting. So in that way, it is good. Okay, doctor. Uh, so my next question to you is, uh, how do you compare nuclear technologies with other non-invasive modalities? Yeah, there are also other nuclear medicine technologies are available. For example, 2D echocardiography, uh, MDCT, MICA, MRI, microneural uh, by imaging studies with MRI. So, if you compare with this CT, echo, MRI, our study how it scores our myocardial perfusion scan over this. I'll go one by one. Okay. First is the e echocardiography. You know everywhere, everywhere, ki everywhere, echocardiography is, is a operator dependent. And also when you detect a ischemia, if the ischemia is very big, then we cannot see in a, any a single view right. so number two number three fatty patient number four very poor window where we cannot visualize the myocardial muscles or myocardial wall so this is called echocardiography disadvantages and echocardiography cannot give you coronary flow reserve which are the early finding of myocardial ischemia or silent ischemia in case of diabetes mellitus coming to ct scan the md ct that, that they only uh, find the co intraluminal coronary lesion. This is anatomical lesion. But if there is a borderline anatomical lesion, borderline I mean that it is less than 50%, then, then in that case, uh, we never know whether the intervention should be done or not. So what they do, they do a FFR, that is called fractional flow reserve. But if even if they do the fractional flow reserve, uh, uh, the, 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 the patients having small vessel artery disease, having endothelial dysfunction, having uh, insignificant lesion less than 50% or it's a case of balanced ischemia. So in those cases, CT scan or MDCT will not be efficient. Similarly, MRI, yes, MRI has come out, coming out, it, again it's a, still a research tool about the uh, CFR, coronary flow reserve. But in our technology, coronary flow reserve is validated, well documented, and quantitated, quantitated, and it is being uh, given. It is being done in routine practice using either rubidium 82 uh, iso radioisotope or recently proved as ta tagged with epitin or nitrogen 13 ammonia. Uh, so, doctor, moving on to the last question. How do you conclude that the nuclear medicine technology is the technology of choice to detect early myocardial ischemia? Okay, so nuclear medicine 
technologies first of all are non invasive cheap quantitative having a huge database as compared to other technologies such as uh, echocardiography such as ct such as mri number 1 number 2 nuclear medicine technology scores over other technology in the form of the useful parameter called cfr coronary flow reserve so coronary flow reserve can be compared with ffr but ffr uh, has got lot of disadvantage so that's why because of this parameter cfr or we can detect a uh, exercise induced ischemia which is uh, which is reversible in the rest pain so that we can say look this is the uh, area of the myocardium which is reversible in the resting stage so that the treatment modality can be effective as compared to other modalities so this is these are the advantages over other modalities okay uh, thank you so much doctor for the interview it was pleasure having you here thank you thank you thank you